guys. Um, basically, uh, we're working on uh, Alan's car right now. We're in the process of changing the rotors and pads. Um, as he was replacing the the, the caliper itself what it was is that it was sticking so we had to replace the caliper and basically I decided to make a video to show you guys how to replace your brake caliper it's not that hard it's pretty simple um, basically um, there you have the brake caliper itself then the caliper bolts here to hold the actual caliper with the piston and then here we go we have the guide pins here and this is the actual piston itself now what happens is is that when you try to compress the piston in the piston doesn't want to go in when you use a c-clamp to press it down that's what happens is that it sticks and when it, when you have to use excessive force to push the piston in it doesn't go in that means the caliper is sticking especially if your pads get too low to the point where they get this low where there's really no more pads left what usually happens is, is that the piston comes so far out that it sticks and it doesn't want to go back in so basically what we're going to do is uh put this new caliper on uh the old one we already took back to AutoZone, but i had an extra one here to show you guys so i'm going to show you guys how easy it is like i said if you guys have seen my videos or whatever changing um um brake pads or rotors if anybody knows how to change brake pads and rotors like i said the caliper just sits here like this and then you just take out the two bolts that sit here these are 14s you take out one 14 here and the other 14 down there once you take out uh, the, the two um back caliper bolts this works for all cars um nissan's infinities all of them all makes and models this is how i do it when it comes to replacing brake calipers on uh any car so basically what there is is that there's going to be once you take the caliper bracket bolts out to release the actual caliper itself there's going to be a bolt here that takes to the brake line so this is the brake line itself and basically this bolt here this is connected to the brake line well this connects to the brake line and what there is is there's a washer here and there's a washer here under it so what you have to do is just unscrew this bolt here and then uh, once you back out that bolt um, then the brake line should come off but there's gonna be brake fluid that's gonna come out and basically what I do is that what I just use is uh, vice grips and just uh, clamp down on the, uh, the brake line. Not too, too tight, just enough so all the fluid won't drain out all at one time. And then, um, like I said, this is just another one that I just put on. So right now, just unscrew it. Wear gloves. Make sure you wear gloves because brake fluid is very, you know, it's not good. So basically what I'm going to do is just take out what happens is that once you take out this brake line here uh, the caliper comes right off and then this is the caliper itself when you take it off so what this does is that this line sits into here and the fluid goes in through um, through the screw itself let me show you guys with the new screw see it has like a little little hole here on the side where the fluid goes through and that's how the fluid gets into the brake line through here the brake line fluid gets into the brake line through it inside here through the opening so right now this is as simple as it is the old brake caliper is off that's it the only thing about it is that when you put the new caliper on you have to bleed the brakes so basically all you do is you put this caliper here oh, to the side just gonna slide that line on and give me a second and I'll show you guys all right so now you have the washers one of the washers stays on and then the second washer goes on here on the actual hub itself on the actual caliper itself so then you put the brake line on the top Give me one second. Go. All right, so I have the two washers here. One of the washers goes on this end here, and then the other washer goes on on this end. So what I'm gonna do now is put this through with the washer, and then put the other washer on this end, and then you put the brake line through here. And then you tighten it down. So 
right out. Got to use my hand impact. I think this is the 10. So I'll tighten that down and then that's it. And then I'll um, get back to the video for you guys. Alright, so now that uh, the caliper is on, as you can see, there's one washer here. Then it's the brake line. Then there's another washer here that sits. So when it goes through the brake line, it'll go into the hose itself. And then the hose will pump into the caliper. The fluid will pump into the caliper. So now all I have to do is replace these two brackets. I mean, these two bolts that hold the bracket in place that holds this onto the actual hub. And then once I put these two bolts in, then all I have to do is put the brake pads back, the new pads in, and then we're done. And that's it. So basically, once I put these two bolts in the back here to tighten them down, all I have to do is take out these two bolts here, take this off, slide the pads in, then put this back on, tighten down the two bolts, and then I'm done. So what I'm going to do now is put the caliper bracket bolts back in. The bolts sit here in the rear of the caliper, right here, and right down there. And that's it. Then I'll catch back the video for you guys. All right, so after you get these caliper bracket bolts down, one goes here and the other one that goes here. After you tighten those down fully, I think these are about 60 foot pounds of torque each. Um, then the bracket will be on. Then you just take out the two bolts that I told you. Um, right here, this bolt and this bolt. And then the actual uh, caliper will come off. And then uh, just put the shims in here. There's gonna be shims for here and here. I'm gonna put those in. It should've came with new shims, yeah. For here. So you put the new shims in here. And you put them up here. Just slide those in. And those will slide right in. Then you get the pads. Line them up correctly. Oh, I'm over here bugging out. Slide that in. Then you take the other pad with the wear indicator. And put that in the back. All right. And you take the caliper. Slide the caliper on. And then you put the two bolts back in. One in here. One in two. As I'm going to show you guys now, I just put this bolt back in. And then you put this bolt in. Then you just tighten this down. This is spinning. Hold that. Put your finger here. Just hold the snut. And that's it. This is tight. This goes up to about 30 foot pounds of torque, so it's good to go. And that's it. You installed your new brake caliper. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace. Okay, basically, I'm just making a video. Show, um, this is a different car with a different uh, brake caliper, but I made another video showing how to change, replace the brake caliper. So I'm just going to show in another person's car the bleeding process that you have to do once you install a new brake caliper. So basically, this is the bleeder screw here. This is where the fluid comes out to bleed the air out of the system. So what I'm going to have um, Joe do is sit in the car, and then I'm going to open the valve, and then he presses down on the brake pedal all the way down and holds it down. And then I'll close this back up and I'm going to show you guys the process right now. So right now I'm just going to open up the valve. This is a 10 millimeter. Uh, okay, so open the wrench. Now just press it to the ground. Okay, hold it to the ground. All right, locked it in place. Now let up the pedal. Let the pedal cool up. Tell me when the pedal's up fully. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the bleeder valve again. Press it down to the floor. 
hold it down. Okay. Now I'm gonna lock it. Okay. Now let up the pedal. Let the gas, the brake pedal come up. up. It's all the way up. Yep. Okay. So now we're gonna do it one more time. Just press it down to the floor. Hold it. Okay. Don't let it up. So now I'm gonna close the valve. And now let the pedal up. Brake pedals up. Okay. And that's it. That's how you bleed your brake caliper in the rear. I mean, well, that's how you bleed any brake caliper. This is this method works on a lot of cars, all mix of models. I've done this on a lot of cars, Nissan's, Infinities, um, Toyotas, Lexuses, different models. So this procedure just seems to work for a lot of different cars. The same process. Um, just wanted to make this add-on for the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Peace. Just to let you guys know, none of the fluid did get on the ground. Just, just showing you guys that I have the pig blanket here, and it basically absorbed all of it, um, all of the brake fluid that came out. So there's none on the ground. So none got on the ground or anything like that. So it's good. Just wanted to show you guys because I know some people be like, "Damn, you just let it go on the ground, and it contaminates." But no, it's on the pig blanket. It's good, and I'm gonna crumple this up throw it out away, throw it away, and be good to go. All right, peace.